So we've been getting a lot of questions lately about how we set up our Hill People Gear Snubby Runners Kit Bag. So today we'll just be covering some of the modifications that we've uh, done to our kit bag that you'll, you've been seeing on our videos and photos and just address some of the questions you guys might have. So what we have here is an unmodified Hill People Gear Snubby Runner's Kit Bag in the Manatee Gray. So initially I was trying to decide whether to get the Runner's Kit Bag or the Snubby Recon. The difference between the Runner Kit Bag and the Snubby Recon Kit Bag is primarily the front zippered pouch right here, which the Recon does not have. And the Recon has a um, some rows of, of PALS webbing on the front, but then does not have this, this front pouch. So ultimately, I went with the runner's kit bag because I'm not a huge fan of the way it looked with the Molly. And I really wanted to have this extra organizing compartment. The first modification I wanted to do to the kit bag was to add some a Velcro panel to let me add some morale patches on the front. However, I also wanted to have the modularity of the Molly without going with the traditional PALS uh, webbing. So what I ended up deciding to do was to get a laser cut panel and have it sewn right onto the front. So the Molly panel that you'll see here is from the patch panel and it was sewn on by a company called Renewt. I wanted them to attach it in a way that made it look like it was an OEM product and un unmodified. So I had them affix it to the front and put the Hill People Gear label on top of it to just add a bit of, of refinement and to make it look um, as it would if it came directly from Hill People Gear this, in this configuration. For the rest of the modifications, what you're going to need is two of these eyelet grommets, and you'll need this tool which will be used to essentially tamp down the eyelet grommet after you've installed it. Next, you will need some length of shock cord, and you will need two of these cord locks. Finally, two malice clips. So initially I wanted to add some sort of attachment capability to the bottom for attaching a tourniquet or attaching, uh, in this case, a can of bear spray to the bottom of the, the pouch. And obviously there's a lot of uh, methods that you could look into doing that using these uh, webbing loops or adding some Velcro and a variety of things. But I wanted to find a clean modification that was simple easy to do and relatively inexpensive. So what you're gonna to need to do is, first of all, measure the distance of this whole area and figure out where you would like to install the eyelet grommets. Mark it with a pen and then just go ahead and take your knife or some kind of hole punch and punch two holes into the bottom of the bag. Once you're done, it'll have some uh, leftover um, frayed fabric, obviously, and you'd want to take a lighter and just singe that off. 
Afterwards, you want to take this eyelet grommet, stick it into these holes, and essentially you would take this grommet, put it onto this block, and then you would take this piece right here and just take a hammer and you'd want to tap uh, hammer that down until it is basically it'll roll over and that's how it would uh, attach to the to those holes so you'll see what i've done here with the shock cord and the cord locks and this is basically what i'm using to restrain my bear spray or a tourniquet or whatever you choose to put there the next modification i did was i wanted to add some side pouches uh, for the radio on one side and um, another pouch for other miscellaneous gear on the other side just to keep things balanced and i had initially thought about adding a velcro panel in the back and then that would ma then make it compatible with any of the spiritus systems type of pouches because the attachment is essentially the same I could add a dangler pouch to it, which would add a lot of uh, versatility. But again, I wanted to have a, a modification that didn't require a lot of modification, as little modification as possible to the actual kit bag. And one that was simple and something that someone could do without, without access to a sewing machine or things like that. So I started playing around with various ways of attaching it to these straps. And a lot of times when I would attach it to the straps, they would uh, flip flop. So ideally I wanted it to be on the back of this so that the straps would essentially be uh, securing it to your body. What I ended up doing was taking these malice strips and finding any, some, uh, this you can do with any vertical uh, Molly compatible pouches. And you basically run the malice clips through this gap in the webbing right here, and it makes it quite secure. It, when you put it in there, it's gonna be quite tight. So there won't be any play, which was ended up working out quite nicely. So I put it on both sides, and then that's basically how I attach these uh, side pouches using just malice clips. Easy to do, requires no modification. Next, let's talk about my cat tourniquet pouch. Again, it's just a simple uh, pouch that I found. Again, I'll put the link for this pouch in the description below, and it's attached by the malice clip on the back. Pretty self-explanatory. I run my tourniquet in there, uh, keeps it protected, no dust or debris, or keeps it protected from, from the sun so that uh, make sure that it's uh, usable when I'm when I need it and easily accessible. This was just a cheap off-brand pouch. Uh, it was laser cut. Um, it's a laser cut pouch, so it's, it's finished quite nicely. Pretty low profile and seems to work quite well. Relatively inexpensive as well. The thing I liked about this radio pouch was that previously, if any of the other pouches that I had, it, I'd need to remove the radio from the pouch to be able to operate the buttons, the functions, and also to view the the display. However, this one, you don't need to to do that any of that by simply opening this flap. The radio will flip forward, and now you can operate any of the buttons and view the display. And then when you're done, just simply. Close it back off and you're ready to go again. So it's a nice way to keep your radio close and not have to remove it from the pouch anytime you're trying to use it. I'm running a Bofang UV5R with a Motorola 6-pin adapter routed to my, my Thales hand mic. So I just happen to have this hand mic lying around and uh, so I just uh, grabbed one of these uh, six pin adapters from a friend and uh, it works quite well. 
However, these military six pin adapters, uh, six pin connectors are quite heavy. So if you can find um, a modified version of the Thales with um, the Motorola adapter already built into the connector already built into it without the military connector, I would advise that because again, these are quite heavy and as you can see, they're a bit cumbersome and bulky. Uh, alternatively, Baofeng also makes some hand mics that are relatively inexpensive or I believe the standard Motorola ones, you can find them um, relatively easy on Craigslist for about 10 to $20. What I also have here is this horizontal pouch and I use it to put some small items, flashlight, um, some chapstick or um, any, any of those kind of similar small items that I'd like to keep inside my kit bag so that it keeps it nice and organized and just an added compartment for the main compartment of the kit bag which is normally designed to keep a pistol in there. Um, but I don't like keeping a pistol in there because uh, first of all, it's got to be a pretty compact pistol and I don't run one that's small enough to go inside this main compartment. So I strictly use this as a hiking navigation and uh, um, a general purpose rig, not as a standalone ever, but as a add-on to my main backpack, which would have all my sustainment gear in it. So in this main compartment, I would just keep my snacks and various things, things that I would frequently want to access. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it uh, somewhat informative to kind of explain uh, some of the mods that you might be seeing in, in our posts and uh, stuff like that. I hope I addressed uh, some of the questions that you guys might have had uh, in, in a more visual way that uh, sometimes a written response might not be able to do justice to. However, if you have other questions or if there's anything we missed, feel free to put it in the comments section below and we'll be happy to answer those for you. I Once again, I'll put the link for all of these pouches and things in the description below. Thanks again for watching. See you outside.